Hey everyone, it's Sassy Wolf 75 and welcome back to a new game. This one is Oxen Free. If you haven't heard of this game, I don't know. This game has been around for so long. And yeah, right, let's just get into it. I know a little bit about the game. I don't know. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Okay. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for, like, ten minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. Oh, okay. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Yeah, Jonas, what you're seeing right now is what I like to call a trip. This blank stare thing Alex will do sometimes. You might think something's wrong, but there isn't. She's just rebooting. Okay, noted. So you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a, you know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens and he thought she worked there and blah, 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 they hit it off. Aw. Uh... That's downright adorable. Oh, I'm cute. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... Yeah. What? Does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? I don't He's know... He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eat. No, that's the weird part. I mean, isn't it like... The concept of just getting a new sister, like a puppy, isn't it kind of awkward? <laughs> no, it's been totally bizarre. But just for the record, I don't consider you a pet. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both look like little skinned potato blocks. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't see a man's toddler penis and not become best friends after that. Yeah, exactly. Bond stronger than oak. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you it's a know recording. It? They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before. Yeah, let's do it. And it's Jonas, not Jonah. Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk, right? Patient zero, AIDS guy. It's um biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. <laughs> I guess. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun. We, uh, need the girl in the picture, Alex, to balance some of this out? There! Great! I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Cool. I'm gonna hey, go Alex, school. you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? Okay, R is for inventory. There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh... Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. 
That's an interesting name. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Okay, cool. Technically, I did explore. Technically. Aw. Cute friend. That was like every guy in like 2017. The the beauty. Okay. Is it loaded? Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah. Um. Anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh. Oh. Uh. No thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing. So. Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Oh. Uh. No thanks. I don't smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> okay, just checking. The friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that. I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just. That's kind of... It'll take three minutes, tops. All right, but... <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. No, it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start remember. off splitting up. I remember the first Thanks, man. episode of this. I'll just be up there. I remember watching it when I was a kid, but Whatever. I don't know. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And, like, getting a new family at the same time... When the flag is flying, we are... Running. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. <laughs> oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement in my old house, so... Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I heard, um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well, don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Again. It's kind of kitschy, right? It's kind of kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Sorry, I got distracted. Uh, I think they block this off at night since nobody needs to use it. Or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. Okay, the controls are a little... Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Huh? 10 106.3? I forgot what he said. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, 
The USS Canaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year under the command of Lieutenant James Earl Platman. On October 28, 1943, it was sunk by the Japanese sub-chaser Tokusada, some 25 miles off the coast of Washington, and remains, to this day, the only submarine casualty in American waters. 85 officers, as well as 12 Army passengers, were lost. The propeller was recovered in 1962, and in 1965 erected as a monument to the heroism of the brave men and women who tragically perished. Named after the Hawaiian god of... The USS Cannibal. Okay. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison just worked there. You'd like her. You She's loud. Tall. Um, alright. Damn. They close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an Hello, ornament kids. or something. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. <laughs> we are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's actually... The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. Okay. Cool. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not, I mean, it can't be too difficult. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slinkover camp run. thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Uh, yeah, isn't this supposed to be like a giant swarming animal mask wearing freakout? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex, it's just supposed to be like a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're a It's a... Uh, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something? She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. <laughs> I think that's what I would call a hermit. Well, it takes a certain someone. And actually, you know what? Speaking of the opposite... Oops, my bad. You're not mean to cut them off. Okay, well, that... I like the, 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 the imagery, 9 p.m. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Be cool? Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales? Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. Hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas, everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. 
Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... your stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so family, law, and all. Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... Why are you so confused about Where is everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. Where it? What? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? <laughs> That's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, come on. Don't be mean. This is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Who said I'm not having any fun? I'm having fun. You this don't. is like friggin' Candyland right now. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what about me? What about you? Just never mind. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and. And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation. Who uh, I do not understand teenagers. I really don't. Ugh. Why does my arm look so weird? Can, not can. Can, not can. Pretty. Fire! Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, I think it's just whatever. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Hey, we could go... Oops. See our house. It must be huge. She was rich as... No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna- I'll start, Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, 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 I wanna hear his answer. Uh, Carissa, come on, you're supposed to ask, like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... <laughs> Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just say so. I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's, that's all. She's cool. She's... she's just a friend. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Thank you, Clarissa. This was very enjoyable. We all know he's lying, we just can't prove it. <laughs> I'm not lying. <laughs> Whatever, man. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. Okay. Mary Screw Kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So, he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. I do, Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be, like, less weird. And you're in a band. Yeah! I knew those bass lessons would come in handy. Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> She got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. Ugh, I hate people like her. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. 
Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the planet... Uh, Jonas. <laughs> yeah? Oh my god, if you can't even speak, your turn gets skipped. Is it my question now, then? Yep. Okay, Clarissa, um, last person you made out with. Oh, um, uh, maybe something else. Or, yeah, maybe, who's the last person you, uh, hugged and said? Ah, uh, great, this should be good. Oh, will you all relax? I've made out with people since... God. Anyways, um, that would have to be Ryan Fisher, two weeks ago in Iggy's death. I knew it. Yeah, well, he was there, and I was tired. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably going to get divorced oh, again. On. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't I don't really need to know the... What are you talking about? What is this even... What does this have to do with anything? Why did your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it the end well now you know jonas don't die and everything will be fine okay clarissa you what you know guys honestly i think i'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game wait let's let's not stop like this we should like game's over ren i won and to celebrate i'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and maybe if i'm feeling spicy even take a nap maybe we could and get... that's exactly what nona's gonna do too man what is your problem clarissa just what did we, what did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. Cheese! If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Whatever. Super. <sighs> Whatever. Going upstairs. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. No, no, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm very but... clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. <laughs> come on, I'll push oh, you over. Oh, I forgot. We never talked Whenever about Whenever you're ready. Oh, what, their date? Yeah, he, uh... Unless he I get a crink in my back, bottle. which <laughs> might you happen if you don't go soon. <laughs> I don't know. So, what happened? They just... It was funny. I guess they tried ordering drinks, and they, like, she wanted something, like, a named thing? Oh, God. Yeah, like, like a, some weird cocktail or something. And they didn't know what she was talking about. And John, of course, is all nervous. And they basically got kicked out, so they didn't even get to see any of, like, the stuff. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Of course that's how it went. Okay. When was the last time you were here? Uh... A year, two, two years ago. Really? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? It's Ren, so definitely ten. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. <laughs> all right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Yeah, Ren, about Nona. What? Did she say anything? Because if she said anything, you should tell me. Like, word for word. What do you like about her anyway? I, uh, I don't know. I just think she's hot. And cute. And, I don't know. I, she's cool, that's all. I, I just like her whole vibe. Okay. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? 
If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me. Oh, wait. Actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Brown oh, you're the only one? Gimme. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. These are just for me. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, maybe it's best he's the test balloon for this anyway. Come on, boys. Hmm. Delicious. Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in. Oops. In the signals. So you're gonna want to stand basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... You'll know. Trust me. Okay. So, just pull out your radio. Any day. Is insane. How, how is this? How can this be possible? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes too. I think. Like. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this here. Um, I do not have time. But if you guys do want to see more of this, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.